The world needs AI, but there are big problems that you need to understand to survive. I have spent the last 20 years in tech as a CEO, board member, and investor in AI companies, and I have seen how AI has transformed the world for better and for worse. So these are the five problems that you need to be aware of if you use AI. Let's dive in. Number one, AI suffers from the black box problem. We're building things that we can't understand. Picture this, it's a normal evening in February of 2024, and suddenly the smartest AI on the planet starts to lose its mind. ChatGPT, used by millions, begins speaking in tongues, spitting out a haunting mix of utter nonsense. My favorite line, the good one is the broker of the celestial of the meat. <laughs> Even today, I can't say it with a straight face. But here's the chilling part. For hours, even its own creators at OpenAI couldn't explain what was going on. All they could do was watch. Eventually, OpenAI found a fix, but that's AI's biggest bizarre secret. We're building black boxes, and we have no idea what's really going on inside. We may think humanity has designed these AI models. We didn't, because these AI models aren't like code that you can look at and examine and debug and fix. When you look under the hood, all you see are billions of numbers in hundreds of layers. And it's like this multi-headed hydra that we just don't understand. And it has its own benefits too. The AI community calls this kind of behavior the Move 37 moment. So back in 2016, DeepMind made an AI model called AlphaGo, and it played a move so unconventional that the world champion at that point, Lisa Dahl, literally walked out the door. For many, that was AI's first creative intuition moment, our first glimpse that AI could find creative solutions to problems that humans barely understand, like curing cancer and solving climate change because it's capable of doing something we're not. And there's more hope. This black box problem has launched an entire new field of science, explainable AI or interpretability. It's kind of a heroic quest. Some of the brightest minds on the planet are working right now to turn that mystery into understanding. And I also believe that there will be more safety regulations on this new tech. Today, your sandwich has more safety regulations than AI models. If your food, your medicine, even your cars need mandatory safety standards, then why not AI? Number two, the AI bias. This is the fastest growing problem in the AI industry. Amazon built an AI hiring tool, trained on 10 years of their own resumes. The result, if you had led a women's chess club or gone to a woman's college, you got downgraded to the AI being male equals success. Why? Because that's how Amazon had historically hired. And it's not just hiring where AI bias shows up. A ProPublica investigation found that Compass, an algorithm used in US courts, was almost twice as likely to label black defendants high risk compared to white defendants, even when the records were similar. And I think that's because AI is trained on human data. And our data is full of stereotyping and centuries of prejudice. If I asked you to picture a doctor, how many of us would imagine a man? And if I asked you to picture a nurse, how many would imagine a woman? That's the data AI learns from. But here's what makes it even more dangerous. It's called the bias amplification loop. A 2024 study found that people who use biased AI systems actually became more biased themselves. And that's the feedback loop, right? Humans have biases. The data gets fed into AI. AI then amplifies those biases. Humans get those bias results from AI. Their bias grows even stronger. That adds back to the biased data and the loop continues. And it's the same loop that powers YouTube's algorithm or any social media algorithm. Social media feeds you the content that reinforces what you already believe in. It hardens your beliefs, it hardens your biases. It's called the snowball effect. A tiny bias becomes an avalanche. The silver lining, if any, is this. For the first time, we can see prejudice 
as data. And as a society, we can delete it. And as individuals, we can also audit our own AI tools for bias before making any decisions. We spend more time spell checking than bias checking. But we can make bias checks non-negotiable too. We wouldn't let a human recruiter or a judge discriminate against us. Then why allow AI to do that? Number three is next, and this is a tough one. AI is destroying our brains. JP Morgan's AI can review thousands of legal contracts in seconds. Humans would take 360 hours for the same job. That's 173 full-time employees for a year. AI, seconds. So one has to wonder how would humans compete against this? AI is not just displacing jobs, it gets worse when somebody is laid off. Picture this, a 28-year-old marketing analyst loses her job to AI. She turns to ChatGPT to write her cover letters and research companies and even practice interviews. Six months later, she is still unemployed. But if you scan her brain, the brain scan will show she now has weaker strategic thinking and problem solving skills. That's strange. And research backs this up. MIT researchers scan the brains of people writing essays. The result, those who used only their brains showed the strongest neural connectivity. Heavy chat GPT users showed the weakest neural connectivity. And here's what's even more troubling. After four months, those chat GPT users performed worse on cognitive tests. They were becoming less capable of complex thought. This is essentially cognitive atrophy. Our brain is a muscle. It's going to lose strength when we stop exercising it. And the most vulnerable, the people aged 20 to 30. Young professionals in the US have already seen unemployment spike 3% higher in entry-level roles. Those are the roles where they learn to exercise their brains. So what should we do? Treat AI like a tool, not a crutch. Use it to refine your thinking, not to replace it. Use AI as your sparring partner to make your thinking even stronger. And the optimist in me sees this as the greatest opportunity for professional growth in our lifetime. Focus on the skills AI can't replicate. Servant leadership, creativity, emotional intelligence, and critical judgment. We can preserve the joy and passion in life by doing hard things ourselves. Human agency is what makes us feel alive, feel useful. That's how we find meaning. Now we're on to problem number four. Has AI completely shattered the concept of truth? AI is warping what we believe is true. In 2024, a strange thing happened in democracies around the world. For the first time, AI deep fakes were weaponized as skill across elections in the US, Taiwan, Indonesia, South Africa. It's become almost commonplace for bad actors to deep fake politicians. These were videos designed to mislead, confuse, polarize, and here's the darker twist. It's called the liar's dividend. Once people know video and audio can be faked, they stop believing in all evidence, even when it's real and factual. A corrupt politician, a damning tape, people just shrug. That's AI, fake news. And suddenly, the very idea of shared facts and truth collapses. I had a direct experience with this. I was working with a company that flagged misinformation using AI tools. And each month, it got harder and harder. Why? Because the fakes kept getting better and better way faster than the detection tools. And the problem is escalating. The AI-generated media industry is set to hit $77 billion by 2034, according to one estimate. And the asymmetry makes it even worse. Creating a fake takes seconds and costs almost nothing. But debunking it is getting harder, slower, and more expensive. AI isn't just making lies easier to spread. It's making truth harder to prove. But for every action, there's a reaction. An entire new industry is emerging to fight back. We're seeing cryptographic watermarks, AI models that are trained to spot fakes, and even new standards like C2PA that can verify the origin of the image or a video. You can be part of the global immune system for the truth. Build media hygiene into your daily life. 
question, verify. Don't just blindly share what you see. And don't just trust even AI. Fact check everything. And finally, in a world where evidence is becoming shakier, invest in building human trust. Be the person who verifies sources, who asks real questions, and shares wisely. People will trust you more. Lastly, problem number five, no one can stop the race. Right now, the most powerful AI on the planet is controlled by just four companies. I'm talking about Google, OpenAI, Anthropic, and XAI. They're all American companies and they're the ones building the frontier models like Gemini or ChatGPT. And yes, there are some really cool open source models coming out of China like DeepSeek and others, but they barely make a dent in the market compared to the big guys. And if you wanna know why this gap exists and why it is so huge, all you have to do is follow the money. In 2024, private AI investments in the US hit a staggering $109 billion. Its closest competitor, China, invested just $9 billion. That means America is investing 12 times more. So how does China plan to compete? Well, they're not trying to outspend America. They're trying to change the entire game. Their strategy is to flood the market with high quality open source models that are incredibly cheap or sometimes even free. The goal is to commoditize the AI industry and then neutralize the American advantage. This isn't a technology race, it's an arms race. And here's the paradox. Everyone knows the risk, but no one can afford to slow down. If Anthropic pauses for safety, they know OpenAI won't. If OpenAI stops, Google won't. And even if all four US companies hit pause for a deep ethical review, China wouldn't. Every CEO says the same thing. If we don't do it, somebody else will, and they'll do it worse. And many AI researchers describe this mad rush at this generation's Oppenheimer moment. We're watching the rise of digital empires, richer than many nations, more powerful than many governments, and they're run by CEOs you did not elect. But we have to also remember that this AI arms race is not inevitable. These are choices made by us, made by humans. We have a choice to join the global conversation about building safe and responsible AI. We have a choice to support the companies and leaders who champion safety, not just speed. We have a choice to contact our elected representatives and ask for AI regulations. The question isn't if AI will change everything, it's whether we will have any say in how it changes us. So those are the five problems with AI right now. But what gives me hope is this. Throughout human history, we have faced many technological challenges, and we've always found a way to live with those consequences, both the upsides and the downsides. AI won't be any different. The same species that learn to control fire, harness electricity, and split the atom is now learning to partner with artificial intelligence. The future of human intelligence is being written right now. And we'll figure this one out too. We always do. If you like this video, check out my video on where to invest in AI. Stay hopeful, stay human. Thank you, and I love you.